everybody, who's ready for a little Dancing in the Kitchen with me, Janelle? So I'm gonna share another one of my favorite uh, meals that I've been making lately since we've been sequestered at home so much. I know you've heard of chicken parmesan and you've heard of veal parmesan, but have you heard of cauliflower parmesan? Yes, it is the vegetarian option to using meat and it's amazingly delicious and it's pretty easy to make, okay? So you're gonna need a few things like a gorgeous head of organic cauliflower. Um, you're going to need some chopped onions, chopped garlic, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. And if you wanna make this vegan, you have to use vegan cheese, obviously. Some gorgeous organic basil that we're gonna have at the end when we eat it. And for the marinara sauce, I found one, instead of making it from scratch, I kind of make my own halfway scratch. It's like, a, I guess, a, a cooking hack. Um, it's called Dave's Gourmet Organic Roasted Garlic and Basil Marinara Sauce. And it's, everything's organic, low sodium, low sugar, and I make my own marinara sauce and I add the onions and garlic and let it soak for a little bit and set so all the beautiful flavors of the garlic and the onions get in there. And um, anyway, it's pretty simple, but it's delicious. So you ready? Let's get started. We're gonna start with the sauce. And because I like the sauce to take its time to just sit and offer the onions and the garlic and the tomato sauce and everything to get really infused with each other so it tastes really strong and great. So I'm gonna take the onion and the garlic. And I, you know, it, it's more than four heads of garlic because you know what? I use a lot of garlic because it's really good for you. And let's face it, I'm not kissing anybody right now. I'm not gonna be bothered by vampires over the next conceivable time period. And I add a little bit of um, olive oil. I like this Luchini, <clears throat> Luchini roasted garlic olive oil, okay? It's extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna pour that on, and I'm gonna to go to the stove and I'm gonna stir that down until the onions and the garlic are okay. Okay, so I've been cooking my onions and garlic, and now they're sort of, you know, looking a little bit more opaque -y. The smell is amazing here. And all I'm gonna do now is add my, my, my hack, <laughs> my tomato sauce. Ooh, this is, a, this is a, try this thing. It's hard to find these base sauces, but I am addicted to them. There's two or three different kinds, and I like the basil and also the heirloom tomato. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and set it back in the stove and let it get warm. And oops, I'm gonna add a smidgen of wine to that. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of. Okay, are you ready to make the main part of the cut? Sorry, I was getting lost in music there. Okay, so I take my cauliflower and I trimmed off the leaves and everything they're sticking out from it. Now this is gonna sound crazy, but this is the hardest thing to do here. Cause I'm trying to cut this into cauliflower like steaks and cauliflower isn't a steak. So I'm gonna just try cutting off a little bit here. Oh, up, a mini steak. I want them fairly thick. So carefully cut, and you know what? If I screw this up, I didn't get another cauliflower, so we're gonna have like interesting looking chunks. Oh, please, cauliflower. Well, that's part of a steak right there. <laughs> okay. Yep, okay. Like I said, this is the hardest part. Successful, one beautiful steak. Look at that sucker. I'm just gonna set that in here for now. Let's try to get one more big steak. Then we can make mini steaks with the leftovers. Please, 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 please. Oh, look at that gorgeous cauliflower steak. Okay. Now, well, these are gonna be little mini steaks. So I'm gonna find, make a few flat ones and try to be creative and make something out of the mess, a stuff. Okay, so now you have at least two gorgeous cauliflower steaks over here. Take your olive oil, and I like this garlic olive oil. And I'm very just gonna take my little dish here, put a little olive oil in it, and I'm gonna brush each side of these steaks. So when they do cut, like I guess if you're making this for a dinner party and you want four people, maybe just splurge and get two nice big cauliflowers, because you can make all sorts of things with the leftovers, like I can make a cauliflower soup, 
or I can make my yummy fettuccine pasta that's made out of cauliflower. There's always something to do with the leftovers. Okay, let me go there. Now I'm going to be creative. See what I can, these can kind of look good. Oh, they're a little fat on this side. Yeah, we're just going to have cauliflower chunks on the side here, I'm afraid. It's all right. It tastes the same. It just doesn't look so pretty. No, we don't like this big chunk here. Sorry. Not exactly PG-13 this song. Okay, so these pieces are going to work nicely over here. Let's see. Flatten up. Okay. So then I gotta oil these two. Alexa's oh, playing dirty music. Okay. She's not screening. Alexa is not screening the songs. I just said play drink. Okay, so now they're oiled. Got a little mess here. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on them. And I've got this low sodium uh, salt here. I'm just gonna put a little bit into my hand. There, sprinkle it over top. Okay, oh, and ding, 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 the oven is ready. It's at 400, and, look, my hands are greasy. 425 degrees, and, um, we're going to put that in the oven, and it's about 30 minutes you cook it, So, but after 15 minutes, we flip it over. So I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. And then in 15 minutes, we're gonna turn it over. And in she goes into the oven. Where she lands, no one knows. This went off for the first 15 minutes, so now we're gonna turn over our cauliflower steaks. See, they're cooking in there. So just gently turn them over. And I've got my little cauliflower bits here too. They need they need some loving too. And they're harder though because they're itty bitty. Okay, probably I should not be using my fingers. This is how I get massive burrs all over my body, by the way. Doing stupid things in the kitchen. That could be the title of my book, Doing Stupid Things by Janelle Martin. And anybody who knows me knows that that is not an exaggeration in the least. Oh, brilliant, this fork is much easier. Okay, just, well, maybe not so much. Come on, you little nugget of cauliflower. So it takes about 30 to 35 minutes to get the cauliflower cooked before we add the sauce and the finishing touches. It smells pretty good too, considering it's just cauliflower. Okie dokie. Back in the oven for another 15 minutes and we will be back. Okay, so you can see now it's starting to get a little bit brown. The next step, is we're gonna coat this in marinara sauce. I'm gonna turn off my stove because <laughs> I do forget that sometimes. Oh man, I swear I am such a blonde sometimes, or maybe all the time. Those who know me would say all the time. Okay, so sometimes oh look at this gorgeous sauce. Look at the sauce, you guys chunks of garlic and onions and tomatoes and it's spicy this way. Actually, I'm probably going to use this whole thing of sauce tonight, I think. I like it saucy and I eat the sauce. And I got little baby ones over here. Once again, we've got dirty music on. <laughs> it's like, oh uh, yeah. 
got to go back to the good old days of rock and roll or something like... No, oh, I'm going to use all the sauce tonight. Why the hell not? I'm a saucy kind of girl. Besides, garlic, onions, and tomatoes are so darn healthy for you. Yeah, I needed the whole thing. Wow. Okay. Now, we're going to sprinkle this. Ugh, these smudges. We're going to sprinkle this with Parmesan cheese. And I've got, uh, this is like my leftover Parmesan. So I've got a little bit of shredded <laughs> and a little bit of like finely grated, but it's all the same thing. So I'm trying to use it up. I'm going to layer that on there. Now, there's no like limit to how much you want to put on, it's how much you want to put on. And I like Parmesan cheese. Okay, so it's coated with Parmesan. Ah, there's not much left. I might as well just put it all on, right? What the heck? And now, the mozzarella. I swear I did one that was already open. Yeah, I think I did. cheese so I'm not afraid of cheese however I have gained five pounds in this quarantine and I think a lot of it is all the cheese pasta ice cream now I don't know what the recipe calls for I just pour it on how I like how it looks cheesy hell okay can you imagine how delicious this is gonna be you won't even know you're not eating steak or or I mean like Veal or veal is a very cruel thing to eat, by the way. Don't eat veal. It's it's mean what they do to those little veal. Okay, the baby cows, very mean. I'm gonna have a I'm not I'm gonna have a meal that didn't know animals were harmed in making. Okay, so here how it looks as it goes into the oven. Now here you have to keep your eye on it really carefully because sometimes you know you don't want it to grow like so it gets like burnt. So it says three. I'm gonna do the timer on for three minutes, but I'm gonna keep watching it. As I dance in the background. basil aside because the basil tastes so delicious with the cauliflower and cheese and I like it spicy so a little bit of the pepper flakes on the top but you know that's really pretty easy it's super healthy for the finished product and I'm gonna have I'm gonna treat myself to one of the actual steaks oh my gosh you guys look at this Look at all that cheese. Okay, I put it in the plate. I'm gonna take my basil leaves and just kind of rip them up on side because it tastes so yummy with the basil. And I like it spicy. And we are ready to chow. Okay, that's Holly is making it. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Dancing in the Kitchen with me, Janelle. And background music by Drake. Oh my god, look at this cheese. Heaven and a bite. I can't wait for the gym to open up again. Oh yeah, I need to work all this stuff off.